All right, Matt Rory, Borderlands is back. Yay! Yeah, uh, in in D and D in in D and D form, they've taken. Remember that uh, that sequence? Was that Borderlands Two? That was Borderlands Two. Uh, they died. did the DLC that was like uh, yeah. c- kind of a a, a role playing game tabletop thing with Tiny Tina's involvement. That was a pretty popular part of that game, so they, much so that they've decided to turn it into something resembling a full game. They put that out as like a separate. I think I, they put that. They yeah. re-released that like a, a special edition of that DLC sometime yeah, recently. Yeah, like a standalone. It was uh, really weird. I never played that one. I don't think. I think it was just a standalone version of that DLC or of that part of the game. Yeah, um, I think it was. They, yeah. Yeah, and and that seemed like it was warming people up for Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. We're playing it here on the PC. Um, we're going to start from the beginning of the game and uh, show you kind of the intro part of this. I was, um, I, I, you know, I, I haven't been following the, the pre-release stuff on this super closely. I think I was not maybe ready for just how much of a Borderlands game this is. Yeah. Um, I haven't either. I've been following a huge amount. I, I probably will, will play this. I... For as much as I hate the villains in Borderlands 3, and I played most of that game on mute, they can still make a pretty good looter shooter over at Gearbox. See, I think I, for me, Borderlands 3 was too much. It, it was just it was wasn't. Long. I I, yeah. I don't. I thought the I, the you know between the story and just like I thought the levels that they had created, the the environments were not as good. No, they're too big. And the just the loot and stuff was I, I don't know it, it, it just it, it felt like the the formula broke for me at some yeah. point. It was uh, too much game. It was like very very long. Uh, and again, the insufferable villains, the streamers who are always yeah. yapping at you, they never shut up. Eventually, I just had to mute like I think voices entirely or like the entire game. I just turned off all sound because I was so annoyed by those characters. Um, and speaking of characters that uh, that are beloved, I mean Tiny Tina just is. Uh, <laughs> I I will say that I like Tiny Tina. I like her in Borderlands too uh i have not i i can see why people find her to be a bit over the top and uh very divisive kind of character but i'm glad to see ashley birch get work i mean she doesn't really do anything other than borderlands games that i know of. <laughs> i mean sure yeah of Didn't, course I mean, of course doing aloe is, is probably uh, a, uh, yeah <laughs> a big deal as well but uh but tiny tina she, let's get, let's get her some work yeah um is that actually oh it's yeah, I don't know. It, it, it's uh, the thing I'll say is like I I was maybe I feel like I was one of the early people on the yo tiny Tina is the worst character to yeah. exist in video games train. Um, but I feel like Borderlands 3's story has really reset the deck on just how bad a Borderlands <laughs> games characters can be. Yeah. And it was uh, bad. Yeah, this feels a lot better than that. I, I, I think that so far and I have not I've not played. I've played a few hours of this. Um, this game seems like a little more focused than Borderlands 3 and the writing seems a little bit. I don't know, a little bit better, at least than than Borderlands 3. I'm enjoying it more than I enjoyed any part of Borderlands 3. I'll yeah. say. Um, so this whole D and D trapping, I'm, I'm I'm sure it's just like generic RPG and not D and D specifically, but yeah, it, it's um, bunkers and and they they literally have a name for it. It's bunkers and something. I okay. forget. What the, yeah, um, I, I I did notice in some of the pre-release stuff that there's uh, some kind of like overland, like uh, like moving yeah. miniatures around too. Is that part of this? Uh, we probably that, won't get to that okay. here. Um, but yes, the, the, the what they've done, and I, I suspect this is like how you make a Borderlands game faster is it is not a big open world game in the way that those other games are. It is more sectioned off into individual areas that then you end up going out to an overworld that is that kind of like, here's your table and you're walking a character around mm-hmm. the, this kind of representation. We'll see as part of this cutscene. we'll see, you know, it'll, it'll eventually pull out and, and be, you know, people sitting around a table um, yeah. doing stuff. And, and that's the... That's kind of how they they seem to do it. You'll you'll run into random encounters there, but it'll, like when you do that, it'll be, hey, here's a very tight little arena, and there's some skeletons to shoot, and then you finish that arena and go Uh-oh. back out to the overworld, huh. and it's weird. Kind of like a Super Mario three kind of overworld. Yeah, thing. totally. Yes, a lot, <laughs> a lot like that. <laughs> exactly like that. That's that's um, good. I mean, I could probably after Borderland, like Borderlands three had some huge maps that were very difficult to traverse. Um, a lot of like weird mountains and walls that were getting in your way and everything like that. So I could probably use a little smaller, uh, 20 minute kind of Borderlands mission rather than 
have to be running across this huge map with like a million different things to do in it. Yeah, uh, yeah. That that's that's been my feeling on it as well. Is, is that stuff? Um, at, at first was a little jarring, but now I'm like, you know what? The last thing I want to do right now is play another game like Borderlands Three. So, like, sectioning sectioning that stuff off and making it a little more manageable actually is is kind of a welcome change. And there's side quests and stuff that you can find on on that overworld map and and shortcuts that you unlock there and stuff. So you know, it, it's got little bits and tastes of gameplay there, but by and large, you are kind of going through these very set uh, areas in, in kind of running in one direction, it's sort of like, here's a dungeon, and then go back out to the map, find your next dungeon, or find your next town, or, or find whatever, mm -hmm. and then it goes back into first person, you do your thing, and then and then spit back out. I'm going to skip the rest of this cutscene, and we're just going to get on with it. Um, wow. It's, it's very long, yes. Um, so I, like I said, I, I I was not really sure how much of a Borderlands game this was going to be because all of these kind of skills and stuff, um, and we're, we're playing this pre-release, so that message about shift and crossplay and all that stuff is probably going to pop up over and over again while we're playing. It's been up and up and down. Are they still popping we... out shift codes through Randy Pitchford's like personal Twitch? Uh, Twitter I think account? Randy Pitchford's too busy okay, or, uh, being embraced yeah. to, and, to and do annoy me so stuff. much with uh, Borderlands yeah. Two having to go to some some developer's personal Twitter Twitter thing to get these codes. Yeah. So I stopped doing it. Yeah, yeah, kinda... that, yeah, they started leaving all the shift codes at Medieval Times, so uh, <laughs> you can go there and get them. Um, so there are classes. I mean, there've always been classes in Borderlands. Yep. Um, uh, I'm classes assuming they come with a skill tree and yeah. all that sort of stuff. Oh, really? And, and uh, oh, they go. Yeah, they've always had skill trees too. But um, I'm kind of curious, what you have? Have you uh, fooled around with how many classes are there? Well, let's, let's count here. Actually, Berserker, and that's Statmancer's two, three. Clawbringer's three, Spellshot is four, five, Graveborn is five, Spore six. Warden is six. Six classes. Okay. So um, a little upgrade from the usual four, I think, right? Yeah, I think, you know, the the, the difference is that they aren't individual characters, right? You're always the same character. Oh, okay. Um, instead of just like, I'm Roland, or, you know, whatever they yeah. tried to do across the Borderlands games. Do you think that they just, like, had to put in some kind of mushroom guy? They're like, damn it, we made all these Battleborn assets. We, everyone loves the mushroom man from Battleborn, <laughs> and we're going to keep shoving these mushroom men down your throat until you say you love ba say you love Battleborn. I have a um, feeling, I, I remember Borderlands 3, I, I, I went with the, the pet class after a while because it was easy. I, I play these games solo. I'm really weird. Like, I don't play them online with co-op or anything like that. So. That's pretty much what I did, too. Yeah. Um, you can... You can set stuff. You can pitch your voice up or down if you want. You know, uh, I think head size maybe only plays on the the overworld map. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and you know, so this is I, this is the first time they've done any kind of like character customization um, in one of these games. I'm just gonna. Hit, um, I thought that. Well. Okay, it's always weird some... when first-person games have this, like, uh, evolved. I guess it is, if you're playing co-op, you do expect to be other people to see your character, so... I just I yeah. hit random a few times and accept from, yeah. from my taste. So then choose some background, and so they, they've put in just straight-up uh, character yeah, sheet-style stats. Um, the only weird one here is attunement, which is uh, looks like it's replacing agility. Yeah, which is just cooldown. Um, okay cooldown stuff. Wow, um, that it, I mean, every game like this, crit chance feels like it's the biggest single thing you can do to yep. get more damage, but um, that's interesting. I'm curious how, yeah. how so deep with, this but, but with this, you kind of end up getting um, so I, I think by default, every stat can cap at 30, but mm -hmm. this this actually changes the cap, so this will okay. lower my intelligence cap to 27 huh. and my strength cap to 38. Um, and so like that 8 is hard to hard to deny yeah um maybe that's something that when you finish the game you'll feel a little different about or something but but that's i feel like you want to be critting and you want to crit hard yep i'm assuming spells are basically like kind of your cooldown stuff uh your... it's like a grenade yeah, equivalent yeah, yeah. okay um sure we'll just stick with we'll stick with that we'll go bunkers and badass bunkers and badasses all right that sure looks like Tiny Tina's cave. Okay. Uh, Valentine, you've just drawn your own face over the character sheet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Draw your hero, and I'm my own hero. 
So for storyline reasons, these these characters end up not with you on the adventure, mm-hmm. um, but they are there to quip. Okay. So you've basically got these three. Oh boy, I I I would like that idea more if I thought like these games were funny. Yep, that would help. If these um, games were actually funny, then the comedy would work better. I, I agree. Have, maybe this is uh, going to be a better than, but Borderlands 3 was pretty dire in that sense. Like it, it, the jokes never landed. Oh the characters God. sucked. Um, I like I like to think Borderlands 2 is a little stronger in that regard, but um, yeah, I just I, it's I still no, feel like Borderlands one maybe because it was first, right? But it was, it was yeah. before. Like I, at Borderlands two, it felt like they were just indulging in the most internet ass jokes they yeah. could come up with, and I just sucked. And Borderlands three went even further in that yeah. direction, so it just feels like they've been. I will say there's no claptrap yet, so we're kind of on looking up already. I mean, I'm I, I'm very happy. I I, I find claptrap way more annoying than Tiny Tina ever ever was to me. Um, I guess, yeah. I don't know. I, I feel like you, you see a lot more claptrap than you do with Tiny Tina in most of these games. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, true. Um, I bet that there's a, a claptrap equivalent yeah. oh, yeah, somewhere yeah. I mean, in here because he's you what know. they make the Funko Pops out of. So, oh Jesus. Hmm. I it's yeah. Okay. That's yeah. a first person game. Yeah, it's a first person game. That looks nice. And, yeah. Uh and also you occasionally get like the the hand coming out of the sky, like modifying the game oh, neat. kind of thing, and, and it's it's kind of a nice effect. But you know, you know, it's it's Borderlands, it's chests, it's there's like literally I don't know if there's any right here, but we'll we'll surely see one sooner or later. The little safes that were everywhere with money in them—they're yeah, yeah, yeah. here. Like just all—all all the stuff. It feels like just reskinned. Okay. Um. And and so that was my point when I say like I, I wasn't following this and I wasn't really sure what I was getting myself into, until I looked at this and saw that there was ammo and gun silhouettes down there in the corner. I was like, oh. Yep. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh wow. Those are, those are straight up the yeah yeah the, the classic. Exactly. So, like, the, all of the stuff when you're creating character and, and all the stuff about your skill tree and everything, a lot of it is about your melee attack and all this other stuff. So I was like, oh, is, okay. Well, I mean, yeah, they made, like, a melee Borderlands. They made, like, a D&D Borderlands. That makes sense. But then it's like, oh, no, you just, you get pistols and, you, you know, the, the sniper, magic sniper rifles and, and <laughs> stuff like that. Like, it, you know, it, it's all there. Um like this was also the point where I'm like, oh really? Okay, yeah, jeez, <laughs> yeah. it's uh, other you just, fantasy saves. You just made that again. Uh, I mean, that is li- there is literally a joke later about C4 where they're like, no, this is fantasy four. <laughs> um, so yeah, congratulations, you just wrote Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Man, yeah, I, I, I definitely this feels like it's going to come down to uh, your appetite for more Tiny Tina. I, I always, I always like that character. I like to actually Ashley Birch's uh, portrayal of her, but definitely see why people would be somewhat less. Uh, I'm just more. surprised they haven't toned it down. Like it's like I don't, I don't know. I don't. I'm not the arbiter of this, but sure. it, it almost seems borderline offensive at times. Mm-hmm. It's just like all the the for shizzle this and everything. It's just like so out yeah. of touch. It's so <laughs> out of step, and you're just like this. Like this was barely funny. Like you, you were writing this character on the tail end of that being something that someone would go check out this funny joke I wrote, and and um and they're sticking with it. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay, this sucks. This sucks. <laughs> this sucks more every year that passes. These this style this sucks even a little bit more. Yeah. And I'm just like I'm very surprised <laughs> that. Uh, it's a weird property. I mean, they're they're fucking making a goddamn Borderlands movie, uh, and I I am I hope the creative spark there is I I let's just say I'm not thinking that movie is going to be great just by the fact that they're making a Borderlands movie, but yeah, um, it's it kind of keep having to invest in the property. Obviously, I'm kind of curious how this game came to be. If this was like a you know I, I never like I said I haven't been following development at all, but. Like, we got a movie coming out. We better have another one of these done. Why, why, yeah, I, I don't know. Because, you know, th- this feels like a situation where they thought that that DLC was, and I, I think it was. I, I don't think they're, really, they're wrong. My understanding is that that DLC was quite popular. Yeah. Um, and so they went and turned it into something was like sort of like a full game. But like I said, it still feels like smaller than your average Borderlands game in a way that makes me wonder, was this planned as DLC at some point and they decided to spin it out? There was a story... Uh, if I remember right, uh, and here we get our first gun. 
It's a and, and all the like they instead of doll, it's Dahlia. Like they've they've translated all of the yeah gun manufacturer stuff over. Which that actually, I think my problem with the Borderlands Three loot is the manufacturer traits and how like you were like oh all these guns from this manufacturer are shit and they don't fit with how i play so they're all garbage like it just made like whole classes of loot feel totally worthless um but uh yeah i, I just wonder if, if it was a situation where like there were stories about like people at gearbox like maybe not getting the bonus they thought they were gonna get yeah. after borderlands 3 and so did it maybe not do the numbers they needed it to do and now we're seeing this as a separate game instead of an add-on? I, 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 I don't... I, yeah, I don't know. I didn't know. I would... I generally like Borderlands enough to play and turn my brain off, as the people sometimes say, but uh, Borderlands 3 was so long, I didn't know it was doing any DLC for that one. It was... That was oh, yeah. I can... Like, it took forever to get to that game. I did finish it, finally. I, I, I didn't even finish it originally, which I... When Borderlands 1 came out, I got the full thousand achievements before that game was, like, on the streets. Like, I had already finished it twice and unlocked every... Like, I had done everything there was to do in Borderlands 1 um, by the day it came out. And loved it, loved it, loved it. Thought it needed some work. Some of the boss fights were real bad. Um, but, like, a great starting position. And then I feel like everything they've done since then has been moving in the wrong direction. Yeah. I like Borderlands 2 a, a lot. I, I, play, I definitely played a bunch of that game. Um, but Borderlands 3, yeah, it just was, was... Oh, yeah, yeah. It, like, from a technical standpoint, it probably was the best looking of all the games, but not like, necessarily... This kind of cel-shaded stuff is, is sure. kind of... Kind of... I, it's a weird they, style to be doing four games When they games first rolled it out, you were like, oh, wow, that looks crazy, because yeah. a lot of games weren't doing it, and now it's maybe a little passe. Um, not that a zillion games were doing it now, but I think they've done it. Yeah. Now and it just kind of, I don't know. It's fine. Uh, here is our first shield. They call them wards now. Mm -hmm. Um, let's go over here. Do this. It's interesting because I, I, I'm feeling like if she's playing the DM character, that we could have a lot of opportunities for really weird shit to happen. Like you said, the hand from the sky and everything like that. I'm yeah. curious how. how so here's a spot where, like, oh, yeah. they needed explosives to justify this part in the story. Yeah. So they just magically appeared. Um, kind of neat. Yeah, yeah, it's conceptually kind of cool. Um, but yeah, if she's a DM and she's going to be yelling at you the entire game, you better like Tiny Tina. It's built right into yeah. the name of this game for sure, but um, it's, I'm not seeing anything that would like, necessarily convince anybody who was on the fence about Tiny Tina 2. Um, I don't know. It's the same character as far as I can tell. Yeah, it's a lot. Uh, and, and it's a lot. It's, it's constantly a lot. Um, Ooh, roll, roll the die! I found lucky dice, and then a new melee weapon popped out. Hmm. So we can compare gear scores here. Let's equip that. Is that better than that? Is better than that? We are gonna take that. That's fine. I'll be okay. It's okay. Borderlands. I'm not too worried about getting shot. <laughs> you got a map, like a, a M map, or like a full map, or is it just? Um, let me Shit, just kind of get out of combat because I don't think it actually stops. Um, okay. Well, let's check here. There we go. Cool. Yeah. Neat. So it's, uh, yeah, that looks like a, a yeah, it's definitely not as big yeah. as the Borderlands 3 zone is. So. You've, yeah, you've got a quest log, your inventory, very similar to what it always has been, you know, skill tree sure. type stuff. Um, and then instead of badass rank, it's myth rank. I assume that will work similarly. I've not hit level 40. Um, okay, where are we getting hit from? We need to clear out this area before we can move on. See, that first gun had, like, the the trappings of looking like lightly like a crossbow or something yeah, but now this is bolts. just like yeah here's a gun <laughs> ribula same idea with badasses being the uh tougher oh, okay. variant yeah, of that, yeah. uh this little ice thing we can shoot Ooh, that's a lot of loot. A single villager remains alive in the Yeah, uh, oh, did they just despawn? Okay. Uh, so you actually get we'll get different styles of melee weapons. So here's a, you know, like a Is that like a, a kind of a, a melee attack button? 
Yes, it is. And okay. and so you'll have faster ones, you'll have slower ones, like all that sort of stuff. So uh, let's take this SMG and equip it and then go through the rev uh, revive tutorial here. And then let's spend our points here so we can use our action skill. Uh, health regen. Eh. Get one point per level here. Uh, this guy, being a fr ice man, will put points into frost damage. Why not? And then you there... also get one one point for this uh, stuff oh, as okay. well. Is there only one skill tree as opposed to like the three that usually had in previous games? I believe. Hmm. There may have been a tooltip about more of them unlocking later on, okay. but I, I, th I this is this is all I've seen so far. Interesting. Leaving my peasant ass stranger. How can I ever repay you? Can't go in there. Uh, a hero's work is its own reward. I am on a quest to defeat the Oh boy. Lord. Is that your voice? Oh boy. Yeah. That would be bad. I don't I don't like that. You can choose from a handful of different character voices, so there's there's a I bit just, of a hopefully it's not super pompousy kind of a... you know, I I played a little yeah. D D in my life, but I I've always found it a little Some people really like doing the voices. I've never quite been that kind of person, but because yeah. I don't have an imagination. Got it surgically removed a few years back. Smart. That's smart. To get that shit out of the way. Um, so now we have our action skill. Um, you know, it's governed. Works on a cooldown. Cool. I like that. A little whirlwind yeah. action. Yeah, yeah does this style. thing. And it pulls out a third person, so it gives you a brief opportunity to see the character that you bothered to customize. It's funny, uh, with last time I played through this stuff, um... I didn't get a lot of guns that just straight up looked like guns. Uh, like I was getting SMGs that would fire four spread shot ice bullets uh. and do frost damage and all this other stuff. And so everything, everything, everything was ice all the time. And now I've just got straight up some regular ass guns. Um, I'll take the gun. I don't know. The, the frost yeah. damage stuff, they freeze into, you know, they freeze and you can go run up and melee them to take care of them. If, that's what you want to do, and it's effective. It's, well, I mean, we might be able to just do a little bit of it that way. No, no, that just eradicated them. Task of whoop ass. Okay. Yep, it's Borderlands. You got enemies running at you, you know. Yeah, line. and you know, hey, guess what happens when I run out of health? I go down. I get an opportunity to sh kill an enemy to come back. Uh, I believe they call it a death save or something like that instead of. Uh, Fight for your life, or whatever they called it. Kind of loose saving throw reference. It's got co-op, it's got cross-play. Um, including PlayStation, last time they put out a Borderlands game, seemed like maybe at the last minute, um, someone was like, oh, you want to do cross-play on a PlayStation platform, huh? Well, that's interesting. You're going to need this many dollars to do that. And maybe that held them up. I don't know. Um... It's got orcs and kissing. Multi, but, roll your own multi-class hero. So this is a full-fledged $60 game. Um, yeah. I'm reading. Uh, oh, right. Yes, you will multi-class at a certain level. Okay. Um, so that, that's that's probably where you end up getting that second skill tree. All right, now we're doing some ice damage. Um, you will fall this day. Oh, you see. Ice damage. You know, slows them down, freezes them like that, run yeah. up, shatter them. Why not? Ice damage. Man, I played so much Barbarian when I was playing Diablo 2. Such a good it's skill. Whirlwind. Such a fun skill. Yeah, I never played it very much in WoW. WoW, you could do Whirlwind as a hmm. warrior, but I never played the warrior too much. Uh, I played warrior. And I was more of a sword and board kind of person. Well, I'm looking forward to getting into that there uh, Elden Ring when I get a chance to finally sit down and maybe when they fix the stuttering on PC. I, I, I liked, I like every from, not to make every video about have an Elden Ring reference in it, but I'm oh, looking you know. forward to getting back to the Sword and Shield. Um, Sekiro was very, very difficult to me. Well, yeah, no, the Sekiro's, uh... Sekiro's rough. Yeah, I was. I, I I was actually looking forward to tr maybe trying out that Final Fantasy Stranger Paradise until I, I've heard that it has a bunch of parrying kind of stuff, and I'm so bad at parrying. And it's in got games. like three different types of blocks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I am. I didn't sound like my kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. So instead of grenades, we get spells. So sure. literally just do that. You see the cooldown in the lower right. Um, okay. 
none of that greasy. And yeah, that's now. How do we get it's a portal kind of the, game. The it's, early game thing here is, yeah. is that's somewhere. that's what you're dealing with is and, and very much the game seems very much built on the notion of like, oh, remember Borderlands? Well, instead of that, we've done this thing that is basically that, but maybe slightly different. Um, and I think you're either into that or you're not. Um, along with the with Tiny Tina, you're either into that or you're not. Yeah. And yeah. There's, there's just a lot of caveats that kind of come with it. But I will say as someone who like I, I finished Borderlands 3. Um, because I was like, oh, they ported, they did a PlayStation 5 version of this. I want to see what that looks like. And then in, like moved my character over there and then played the last 10 hours or whatever I needed to play to just, just like marathon through that thing. Just like forget it. I'm not yeah. listening to any of these people like, oh, Penn and Teller in this game. Great. Who cares? <laughs> um, uh, yeah. The, the voice cast there was a little bit overweening at that time. So it was, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, this game seems like it's going to be a little bit tougher to just turn off the uh, volume of dialogue and run forward because it does look like you might have to pay a little bit of attention to what Tiny Tina is telling you. I doubt it. Yeah. Yeah. Probably I, you not. know, the quest, the, the quest logs are generally, uh, yeah, so we can. There we go. Yeah. That's, that's the, the hidden hero of the Borderlands 3 uh, UI was the yeah. dialogue. Uh, dialogue. Just turn that all the way down and hope for the best. And, and, you know, hey, you can have uh, you can have your captions on and there you go. see stuff that way if you need to. Um, let's see. I think we'll get up to something resembling a boss fight here and then and maybe we'll call it. Um, yeah, it's a big door, you know. So what's the overworld story? I mean, I'm getting too far to that. They're definitely playing this game on a, you know, tabletop kind of thing. Is there more to it than that? Or are they just kind of dicking around and having fun? I'm that's, sure. that's been it so far. Um, you know, like, I don't I, I don't know if they'll go anywhere more interesting with it than that. But it's, it's very much just been like, you know, that's why you have three characters talking at you all the time. is because you're technically sitting around a table. Uh, so those uh, theoretically characters are only for like co-op. I, I'm assuming you're just what kind of excuse do they have to not have, not have them in the game if you're playing solo? Um, I, I think it's it's oh it, it's because you're the fate maker and there's only one of those or so you know it's like this so the adventure is just written in such a way that it doesn't make sense for there to be companions. I think is what it ends up being. Or they they're they're bad. It's like it's some it's some joke. Like okay. they're bad at making characters on the character sheet, so they don't get to play. Um, I I don't know why. I, there's probably some very technical reason as to why Borderlands insists on having all boss fights start with you dropping into an area, like drop into the arena and do the fight, drop in from above. I feel like there are so many of them that are literally this setup. And it must, I mean, I'm sure they don't want people to escape the area, but yeah. I, I feel like there are more ways to do that than, oh, there's a hole in the ground. I mean, a frame rate budget story is a thing, but uh, yeah, that's a weird one. I, I definitely noticed that a bunch in yeah. previous games. Oh, boss fight! I got a special figurine for this guy. One second. Rising before you is one of the Dragon Lord's most loyal undead soldiers. It's Rivula. Ah, oh, they still got the the pop up stuff. I kind of like that better than uh the cutaway comic book thing they've been doing the last few games. Yeah. Ow, that oh, hurt. That hurt. That hit hard. We have to go open some chests. Hope for the best here. Hey, you got it. Okay. Say it's it's no community D and D episode so far on the humor humor scale, hmm. but uh, you know that's probably the what best. What are you gonna do? Best D and D thing ever made. So. No longer available on streaming services. Really? Hmm. Uh, there was yeah a little a little boy, a character dressed up as a drow. If you oh know what a drow sure. Is. Okay. Yeah. 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 Right. Yep. Don't do that. Adult, apparently, don't do that on TV. Uh, I'm trying to think of other like D and D kind of uh, referencing stuff. I know I know there's huge streaming people doing D and D all the time now. Oh, Seems yeah, like uh, D and D as a property is doing pretty well. But there's all all, all kinds of weird talk about uh, Hasbro maybe uh, spinning off Wizards or uh, selling them to another company or something like that. They've been there's a new I think Wizards got a new president and CEO lately. It sounds like Hasbro's kind of 
taken a, a big new interest in that business because yeah. uh, they, I know that it was like a sudden, like the CEO of Hasbro passed away. I forget. And, I forget. Yeah, and relatively recently, I think. So they, there's someone new there, and yeah. so I, I don't know. Definitely sounds like uh, big changes are in play. I mostly follow it because of Magic, obviously. Is what I play right, right, yeah. Um, D&D. What do they, they, they did, did they do like a and d Magic set or something? Or they some did, kind of? yeah. Forgotten yeah. Realms had a, uh, the core set for last year was uh, all D&D stuff. And um, they're making a movie. I think they're, they're talking about doing a and d movie, another one of those. Or d and uh, I want to say like a Netflix show or something like that. They're, they're definitely it's a, a multimedia property. Uh, sure, uh, That yeah. could be utilized in very synergistic ways. So they, yeah, the the magic uh, uh, D and D stuff is is kind of popping up, and they they've done D and D sets I know set in worlds from Magic, so uh, a very fluid situation there. But um, oh, Dragon Lord, I love that guy. Yeah, there he is. Okay, so this is actually the, this is a gun I feel like I found earlier last time, maybe not, but it's it's you know burst fire or semi-auto, but either way, even even a single shot is shooting out multiple. Sure. Ice shots, um, and uh, it's kind of weird because I, I feel like I'm so used to just lining up crits and lining up yeah. headshots in these games, and it's never been hard. But now you've got this very spread shot weapon that you see all the time, or, or most of the weapons I was getting were, were firing like this, yeah. and it just seems strange. Yeah. Um, uh, have so. you found a sniper rifle? Because I'm assuming those work. Yep. Like they... Yeah, those are those are those are sniper rifles. Good. I found a shotgun that basically shot like a, a, a wide one wide arc of energy out. Um, and it's always one of these games to get like one god tier weapon like midway through and use that for the next ten levels because it's the best thing you've ever found in your life and it takes forever to get a, a new one. But um, once I, honestly, this these games I kind of once I get to max level and kind of stop uh, getting new gear, I rapidly lose interest. So they they do a pretty yeah. good job of that, like giving you new guns and everything like that as you play. Yeah, it's got you know it has the vending machines and all that other stuff. It, it yo they made a Borderlands game, so I think it's gonna do it for us here. Um, I'm I'm curious to see what the reception to this is. I. I I could yeah. see myself playing it, probably not at full price, but um, maybe a little bit further down the line. It's, it's a lot of games to play right now. But, uh, I have I have enjoyed it more than I thought I would, considering like going in, it's like here's a tiny Tina game, kind of loosely based on that DLC and all that other stuff. I'm like, geez, that sounds dire. But um, you know, it's oh, you know, before we go here, I did I did get a a new weapon here. Let's just we'll equip it real quick and fire it a couple times. Um, no microtransactions or anything like that. So as I can not tell. that I've seen. Yeah, nothing. No hooks for it, as far as I can tell. So yeah, here's a. You see, kind of just fires that wide yeah. arc. Neat. Kind of magic. -y. Yeah. Oh, I like that. That's, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. That's a pretty good reload. That animation. is a really good reload yeah. animation. That's pretty clever. That yeah. might be my favorite thing that we've seen today. <laughs> yeah, and it's you know like like I said you know part of this is just like I. <laughs> Hated the writing in Borderlands 3 so much, there's yeah. no way it could be worse. So, uh, so from that angle, you know, it's, uh, I don't know. Like I said, I, 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 I've, I've been enjoying it somewhat more than I thought I would, but at the same time, I think it just comes with a ton of caveats around yeah. like how you feel about more Borderlands, uh, reskinned Borderlands, and Tiny Tina as a character, and all that sort of stuff. Like it, it's, it's very much one of those, and, uh, you know, I think uh, intrinsically at this point with the, the number of games there have been, you, you know already yeah, yeah. if you're up for more of that or not uh, for this price. So there you I go. I will wait for a sale, but uh, I, I might check this out at some point. I Yeah, they, they make good shooters. I mean, it is it's it's kind of like the Destiny thing for me where I, I really don't like anything about Destiny 2 outside of the shooting. And it, it tr yeah. drags me in every time they put out something new. And then, um, but uh, same kind of same kind of thing, just Forget about everything but the shooting, and uh, maybe I'll be happy. Yeah, no, I get it, man. All right, well, that's going to do it for us here. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Game's out relatively soonish, uh, but not quite as of this recording. So, uh, yeah. How are, there, how are there piles to sift through if there are no skags? That's my question. <laughs> the answer is that there's probably just reskinned skags somewhere. Oh yeah, probably. I, I'm yeah. assuming. I, I'm assuming a lot of the weapons skins are probably uh, reskins, but um, I'm, I'm curious how much new content there is. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Matt Rory. Thank you for having me.